Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. I am beyond excited to set up this Laundby Smallland doll's house. It is wallpapered, it's floor papered. There are doors that open both ways. Look at this, they swing both ways so you can go in and out from either side. Hold on, that kind of makes sense. And there's carpet here in this bedroom. And the best part of all is that every room has electricity coming into it. So you can put in little lamps. Look, I've already plugged all the lamps in here and the lights because they're quite fiddly, but I'll show you this one. You can plug them into the wall and the whole house will light up. Look, I've got a remote control. You watch this, I can set up this room. So just the, the lights in this room go on and off. So the fireplace is going on and off and the little lamps going on and off. So let me show you the whole house. <laughs> We've got lights in here and there's lights everywhere. So I'm putting on the one in the bedroom at the moment and now in the lounge room, downstairs in the kitchen. And there's a tiny one in the bathroom that you can almost see, but we'll go and have a look closer at it in a moment. It's so exciting. And in the kitchen, I've already put some of this kitchen stuff in here because these are all the lighty uppy bits. So these have got lights attached to this furniture. And I thought I would do it beforehand because to put all of these together and to make them neatly fit <laughs> was gonna take too long in the video. So I've neatly put them together and plugged them in and put them all in the corner ready to go but we're going to continue decorating the whole doll's house and check out the stove here the stove also lights up look can you see the little light inside the oven look, I'll open the door so you can see look there's an oven light how cute is that and there's also a light up in the range hood it's so modern and just Gorgeous. Oh, look, look, look. And the aquarium also has a light in it. Can't kind of see it. I'll make it dark later so we can have a look at the lights properly. So up here in the bedroom, let's start decorating. We're going to put this picture up here on the wall. I've already got a lamp over where I know the bed's going to be. And check out the bed with the beautiful wrought iron and glittery bedspread. Check that out. <laughs> and we'll put some pillows on it some nice big white pillows for the back and wait for this there are gold sequiny pillows for the top <laughs> how luxe is that they're so gorgeous so gold sequiny pillows for this fancy fancy bed and we'll put a swirly side table over here there we go and we're going to put the cot in here in the parents room so the baby and the parents are gonna be all close together and look there's a little teddy that comes with a cot let's put that in the cot oh drop that in the cot and we'll try and turn him around oh he's on his head no he's okay we'll put him up the right way there we go teddy in the cot and there's also a blanket for the cot but we could put it down on the floor as a play mat for the baby look at this carpet it's so soft and another little table over here with some pretty flowers there we go and now the parents room is completed look at that light at the back i love the lights so much let's head through the door into the living room we'll make this room the living room i've already got a couple of lights up in here we're going to put in we're going to put in a tv area first so this is very very modern we're putting a flat screen tv on the wall and we're watching some awesome show about <laughs> about little tiny sheep and cows and we're going to put some books down here in the bookcase some teeny tiny books i don't know what they're about well this one's about lundby houses good we can read all about them when tv time is over and this one's about butterflies We'll stack all these in here and of course we're going to need some couches and look at these couches oh hold on I was just checking that light was on it is on it's not a very bright light it's right you don't want a bright light you're watching television oh not couches yet actually I just found this picture let's put this gorgeous big picture of a deer up on the wall so lovely and now we can see the couches look at this absolutely lovely couch and it's got a throw over here a crocheted throw and we'll put that over the couch and there's a little cushion little blue knitted cushion and tuck that in the corner and there's a blue bean bag and another pink chair and I think there's a blue cushion here somewhere there we go look at that doesn't that look cozy well we're not cozy enough yet because check out that rug a nice big fluffy rug and we need a coffee table for the middle and this coffee table is awesome it's got a slide out drawer where you can store your board games or your card games or your books 
So we'll put a couple of those in there. Look, Sea Life and the Memo Nature Game and The Rose. I hope that's a good book. We'll slide it back in here and you can see it through the glass top. So awesome! I love this doll's house. And we're going to put a very, very funky gold laptop. We're looking up, we're obviously researching bears, doing an assignment on bears. So we'll put that there and a little white squishy poof there. Oh, this is so, so fun. All right, in the corner here, I've already plugged in, already plugged in the fireplace. So we need a basket full of wood. And look at this, it's actually little pieces of wood, actual wood, we can tuck in next to the fireplace. So when that fire starts to go down, which never will because it's just electric, we can restock the wood. And there's a big white bear rug for the floor. So you can lie in front of the fire and we might just put a little plant here in the corner just to fill out the space. Doesn't that look cozy? All right, let's head downstairs. We're going to kit out the bathroom and we'll open that door to let a little bit of light in because there's no windows in here. We've got the vanity with a couple of toothbrushes and we're putting the bath towel hanging over, whoop, hold on, dropped it. Bath towel here. This is so cute. And this is such a long room, so <laughs> it's gonna be hard to get everything in here. But there's also a shower. Look at this awesome shower, a couple of bottles of shampoo and conditioner. And I can tuck that all the way over in the corner here. Looks great. I like the blue wallpaper and the, the, the blue and white towers, tiles. And there's the toilet here on a nice big, big clear piece of perspex so everything stays together. Toilet brush. And look at the bathtub! And it comes with a couple of little duckies. And I've blue tacked the duckies. Well, sticky tacked the duckies on so I don't lose them. Because <laughs> I will lose them. They're so small. And a spotty bath mat and the bathroom is done. So let's move into the big kitchen dining area. This is where we're going to have so much fun. In the oven, I'm going to put a loaf of bread and this is actually a Sylvanian family's loaf of bread. A lot of this stuff will be interchangeable. So I'm going to be able to mix up my Sylvanian family's calico critters and the Lundby furniture and have a great time. The saucepans are up here on the cooktop and now we're going to start putting away some of our kitchen stuff. So we're going to put a rice cooker in here and somewhere there's some dishwashing detergent that needs to go under the sink as well. So fantastic. And in this drawer, I've already put some put some cutlery there. <laughs> That's ready to go. And I've got a basket of fruit. Once again, this one's come from my Sylvanian family's collection. And we're going to put a pitcher up here and some really nice little blue glasses. Oh, hold on, drop them. I'm going to have to use my tweezers for these glasses. They're so fiddly to try and get them up here. So we'll put these blue glasses into place very carefully. There. What else? Oh, some nice big salad bowls in very bright, funky colours. They are going to brighten the kitchen right up. And up here, we're going to store some pasta. Let's see. Well, actually, that's way too big a box of pasta. Let's see if I've got a smaller box of pasta. I do. There we go. Perfect. There's enough pasta for the whole family. And we're going to put a toaster down here. This one's another Sylvanian family's thing, so cool. And a coffee machine. And of course we're gonna need a box of coffee. So we're gonna tuck some coffee behind the coffee machine. Perfect for the morning. We got toaster ready for bread. And we got the coffee machine. And we've got a cookbook, which I'm gonna put just here on the side, but I'm gonna make sure it doesn't fall off by tucking the fridge in right next door. And a cutting board over here on the other side of the sink, I think. Ah, sink, I think. Look, I love it when it rhymes. And time to, let's stock the fridge. We'll put something in the cupboard up here first. We might put a big box of cookies for later. We'll hide them from the kids. <laughs> and in the fridge, we are going to put, look at this, the drawers come in and out. We're going to put some juice boxes and some eggs, a nice big tray of eggs. And on the bottom shelf, we might put some, mmm, some yogurt. Perfect. And we've even got a crisper down the bottom for the fruit and vegetables. So I've chucked in a carrot and a radish and a mushroom, just what we need to make some soup. So we'll put that back against the wall. They're all snug in there and now a little bin and now we can start fitting out the living area. There is this cool big bookcase so we'll fill it up with books, a thousand flowers, 
and more butterflies. Some of these books are very repetitive, but very colorful and they fill up the bookshelves really well. Look at this cute little gold spotty puppy book end and a picture of a kitty. And now we've got ooh, a, a radio and some more books over here. These are world travel books. There's Asia and a young readers book and a couple of different books about Europe. And we're gonna put the other little puppy bookend over there. Doesn't that look adorable? We'll stack all the rest of these books down here. And some more over here. This is obviously a family of readers and an alarm clock down there. And we've just got a couple more books to fill in down the bottom. And another picture, a little puppy picture down here. This family loves their pets. So we'll put the bookcase back up against the wall. And now we're going to set up the dining table. It's so funky. Look at the lime green chairs. They're covered in a soft fluff and they're just lovely. They're ergonomically shaped and curvy and beautiful. I'm trying to line it up right underneath that hanging ceiling lamp. And we're gonna put some little coffee cups out, some red cappuccino cups. And we might have a centerpiece of flowers for the table just to make it all look very jolly and cheerful. Beautiful. I think we're almost done. I've just got this enormous tree, this topiary, which I kind of want to sit down here at the bottom of the stairs. I think it looks fantastic there. So this is the whole kitchen dining area, all kitted out, all set up, ready to go. Look at that. Look at the lights. Oh, that light's crooked. Let's fix that up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, and upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Upstairs, we've got the lounge room. We've got the little sunken area with the nice warm fireplace and the big main bedroom. It all looks absolutely fantastic. Now, I have to decide which dolls are going to live in this brand new doll's house. But for the meantime, it's going to be a house full of kitties. And I've got these gorgeous little kawaii kitties, these Niko Itsumi kitties that Millie and I have made from polymer clay. And, and they are gonna run this house until we decide which dolls are going to move in. So here in the lounge room, I'll put the little white snowball kitty. Now, who do you think should move into this house? Which dolls do you think would be the perfect size to live in this brand new doll's house? <laughs> They'll have to live alongside cats. They're going to have to really, really like kittens because I don't think the cats are going to want to move out. Why don't you let me know in the comments what dolls you think might fit into this doll's house? Maybe some little live pets or the Happy Place Shopkin dolls? They might fit. Look at this kitty looking at the aquarium. Oh, I'm just going to have to try out all different sorts of dolls to see who's gonna fit in this fantastic doll's house. So let's play with the lights, you ready? We'll make it dark and let's turn them all off. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? I just love this doll's house with working electricity. Oh my goodness. Oh, I hope you enjoyed seeing inside this house. I have loved setting it up for you. Make sure you subscribe, click the little notification bell. Please give me a thumbs up if you like the doll's house too. And leave me a comment. Let me know what dolls you would like me to try out in the house. And I'm going to be back with a new video very, very soon.